everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. I'm Miss B. Today is Wednesday, hump day, hump day, hump day. Evelyn, 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 Evelyn day. Remember that? Remember? Evelyn, 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 Evelyn day. Nope. <laughs> We're not doing Mike, 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 Mike. It's going to be Evelyn, 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 Evelyn. I can't even say that. I have a hard enough time trying to talk and complete a sentence. And you want me to go, what? You have a hard enough time saying your name. It's got two <laughs> syllables. And it's, you're, you're, like, you're like, Chris, 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 just call me Chris. <laughs> Wednesday, halfway through the work week. <laughs> okay, so all this week we're talking about as seen on TV, the good and the bad. So we're going to start off with the bad. <laughs> first <laughs> i'm still waiting to get to a product i'm familiar with because <laughs> I, I i tried to pick products that weren't that familiar because these are just there's that one that has the commercial the one that has the commercial it's so hilarious i love the commercial i really really do but in a million years would never give somebody a bottle ten dollars for a little two ounce bottle of poopy spray it <laughs> seems like Seems like the stupidest thing on the planet, okay? $10 for little two ounces of that. So you, just a little chopper, 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 chopper. Oh, and you'll be all perfect whenever you go to the bathroom. You know what? No. I would like that. Huh? Because, you know, my bathroom is right across the hall from me. Between me and Wingnut 1 and 2. Yeah, but you're in a hospital, which means you're going to need an industrial 55-gallon drum of that stuff. <laughs> it's going to be like five grand a month. You're gonna have that wand, you know the the, the pump the pump sprayer. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, sir. What? You put your gloves on. You put your little mask on. Okay, let it rip, pal. We'll never know. Take all that stuff off. Anyway, did that just happen? You, you know, you know at work because oh. they eat all kinds of horrible things and come to use your restroom. <laughs> yeah. And I'm anyway, and I'm the guy who you hear screaming on the first floor, trapped in the bathroom. There's girl stuff in here. It's everywhere. They're keeping them. They. <laughs> you know what? That makes me think. Remember last week when we were talking about stolen things, the weird, strange stolen things, yeah. and how they stole the condom machine. You didn't ever hear them saying that they stole the female apparatus machine. That's because nobody would. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Garinda? Um, I thought it was a, I thought it was a do machine, but it ends up being a, uh, yeah. Um, well, you can sell those. <laughs> really? You gotta imagine me on the side of the corner going, I got damn it. <laughs> Open up my coat and they're just hanging there. I'm like, what's your flow, baby? <laughs> God, I almost vomited saying that. <laughs> I know. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> That's recorded forever. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, a little bit right here in the back of the throat, still, still, still going down. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the bad product wow. for as seen on TV. We'll get back to that now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> sauna pants. What? Sauna pants. What's a sauna pant? Sauna pants. You know, when you go take a sauna, a sauna, a sauna. sauna pants. Sauna. Yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. All right. All right. When you go it's take easier. a, you say you go take a sauna. I'm thinking, what are you going to do? Rob somebody and take the sauna? Out of their house? You go take a sauna, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I probably didn't pronounce that correctly. They're saying that lots of uh, gyms have saunas and therefore saunas must help you lose weight. So they thought, you know, taking that kind of attitude that uh, you should try these sauna pants. Yep, that they're going to help you lose weight. How are pants going to help you lose weight? What are they, like eight sizes too small, and they figure eventually everything's just going to squeeze out the other side or something? <laughs> With sauna pants, you can kiss your calorie-counting days goodbye because once you strap on a pair of these personalized crooked crookers. <laughs> what? 
What, what did you just say? <laughs> Personalized cookie. What does it mean? Cookers. Crotch cookers. Did you say crotch I, cooker? Yes, I, yes, I'm reading what the you know because they put in the little excerpt of the advertisement. This is the advertisement. Put on a call. pair of these crotch cookers. What are you gonna do? Microwave the boys? Are you kidding me? <laughs> that unwanted weight all around your hips and thighs will supposedly just melt away. <laughs> what is there a microwave in it or something? <laughs> Along with any chances of having children, if you happen to be a guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, some kind of microwave down there. Like, we're gonna melt this. Th- there you go. Gonna melt that fat right off of your butt. <laughs> There's actually a picture of a model wearing a pair of these sauna pants. <laughs> I always love it how the model is wearing the stuff. You're like, you know what? I I, I didn't believe it. She put them on and became like that. You want to you want to impress me? Go get one of the girls from my six hundred pound life. Put her in a pair of those pants. Do a high speed camera deal and show me a month go by. I, I, I want I want to see her bounce around in this thing and go. I was six hundred pounds. When I strapped these things on. I'm now five hundred and ninety one. Uh-huh. It's been a month. I lost nine pounds. I haven't eaten for a month either, but I'm sure it's all the pants. Because <laughs> I'm too hot. <laughs> I spend my day pouring ice water on my crotch. Because <laughs> it's cooking. <laughs> it's a real crotch cooker. <laughs> they took me to the hospital the other day because I short-circuited my crotch. <laughs> I suffered electrical third-degree burns. <laughs> I won't Can have you children. Imagine? Excuse me, ma'am. You have some... The third degree burns um, in a questionable area. How did that happen? Sauna pants. <laughs> well, someone put the water just out of reach, and as I leaned over to get it, there was a short in my sauna pants. I felt a little tingle, spilt the water, and that's when everything went wrong. Water and electric do not mix. I short circuited my crotch cooker. <laughs> Resulting in third degree crotch burns. And on that note, we need to take a break. Back in a moment. (laughs) (laughs) Hi. (laughs) Welcome back. It's like a crab pot down there. (laughs) And your crotch cookers. If you missed the first half of the episode and you want to know what the heck we're referring to, you need to go back and check that out. I'll tell you what don't the, do it alone. You oh no. need to bring somebody oh yes. with this time seriously. The only thing they could do to make the only thing they could make do to make that better is to actually put a timer with a sounder on it and have it go ding. Fries are done. Oh, that'd be so messed up. (laughs) French fries, anyone? (laughs) People walk in. What is that smell? Ding, fries are done. (laughs) Did your crotch just say fries are done? (laughs) Crotch cooker, you know. Oh, my goodness. That's sad. That's very, very very sad. Somebody bought those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, Can't imagine so... that mailman handing the package just laughing hysterically. <laughs> you enjoy that. <laughs> Dang, fries are done. <laughs> I upgraded it for you. <laughs> You're going to love it. Yeah. <laughs> I could just imagine him handing the package off to the, to the lady and saying, here you go. <laughs> Imagine that your husband walks in the room, goes into the goes into the cabinet, pulls out a pack of popcorn, microwave popcorn, grabs your pants, pulls them out, throws it inside there, slams your pants. Call me. <laughs> Might take a little longer than two minutes, maybe three. <laughs> really saving on that power bill, aren't we? <laughs> hey, uh, 
it's okay if I just put the can of ravioli there, right? <laughs> it'll, it'll warm it in the can, right? <laughs> it doesn't like get messed up if it's a metal can or anything, right? <laughs> I don't got to put it in a bowl and then put it down. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> know if you're a woman you'd just be perfect to multitask you'd be, you'd be losing weight and cooking dinner at the same time oh wow can you imagine that <laughs> you're feeding the kids and all you got to do is just take out your <laughs> dinner out of your garage oh garage. boy that just that just wow all kinds of things just went wrong in my head <laughs> here, here honey here's your macaroni and I cheese i thought you were going over to bobby's house i'm never going to bobby's house again <laughs> wow what's right his mother pulled dinner out of her yeah <laughs> It had a timer on it. <laughs> it said, ding, fries are done. <laughs> We're all at the table going, so what's for dinner? Ding, fries are done. <laughs> and they were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid of her. <laughs> <coughs> she scares me. <laughs> mommy, mommy, you don't have magic pants, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Mommy wishes. <laughs> oh, okay, so <laughs> let's talk about the best product that's seen on TV. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's... This one is called a shoe slots. A what? Shoe slots. S L O T Z. Slots. Yeah. I, th- okay. slots. I thought yeah. you said sluts. I was like, <laughs> shoes for sluts? <laughs> Well, I mean, everybody de- everybody deserves to have shoes, Christine. I mean, I don't, you know, I suppose it doesn't really matter what your job is or what your favorite pastime. Yeah, you can have shoes, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a shoe organization system. Um, yeah. Is that um, that stupid plastic bag you hang on the back of the door and just shove your shoes in it? No, the, this is like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a piece of plastic, and it's got a divider. So you put one shoe on the bottom, which has got the plastic base, and then the shoe. And then there's a plastic divider, and then you put the other shoe on top of it. Supposedly, it's a, a, it's a closet. It uh, works in your closet, too. <laughs> to do what? Take up a ton of room and hold all your shoes on the wall? No, it's supposed to. Your closet has enough floor and shelf space to store all of your shoes with this, with this, and it's supposed to be within easy reach. So no more, you know, trying to figure out what. Do you have to figure out what pair of shoes? I bet you have them all just laid in a row, right? I do on a rack, <laughs> a oh. shoe rack. Okay. So you know, then one what's... of those metal ones that are so what's the So what's the big deal? I don't know why they want this one. Space is at a premium, though. I guess you get a lot of real estate because it doesn't take up much room. It's a uh, it's a space saving benefit for the shoe slots. They you can stack sneakers, ankle boots, high heels, just about any kind of um, shoe, and organize it. In your what collection. about fishing boats? Can you put fishing, fishing boats. boats in there? Nope. Fishing boats. <laughs> You know, they're about 18 inches tall, the big white fishing <laughs> boats. You know what those are. Can you put them in there? No, but it says that your shoe collection can go from unruly to tidy. <laughs> well. And you uh, can also buy this on Amazon, too, for fourteen ninety nine. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. That's a, that's a it's little... amazing what Amazon can rip you off for nowadays. Well, yeah, I just kind of wonder, like, how many people go for this, for the shoe slots? I mean, I and how many how many pairs of shoe slots do you actually get for fourteen ninety nine? Should we check it out? Let's see. Let's go there. I don't know. It's go your show. Amazon. It's your show. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a six-piece set, so. Six-piece. Um, what do you mean? You get store six pairs three, of shoes? Four, five, six pairs of shoes. Yep. Well, what, what, what good is that? Um, that's for twenty nine ninety five, and then they oh have heavens no! You can go to the grocery store and buy a big thing of paper bags and throw both shoes in the paper bag and roll them up. Then you <laughs> then you can literally write on the front of the paper bag, "These are your green pumps." Throw it on the shelf. You're like, "Where are my green pumps?" Look in the bag that says green pumps. If you want a six piece set of three, 
And that'll cost you fifty three ninety nine. See now, my idea only costs about nine dollars for all the big, you know, you know the big grocery bags, the paper grocery bags. Yeah. All right, so you get a big bag of those. All right, about nine bucks. Drop two shoes in it, left and the right. Roll it up. Can the shoes get dusty in there? No. Can <laughs> critters get in? No. Do you ever have a spider in your shoe? No. Can anything get in your? No. And you just write right on the front of the bag, green pumps. <laughs> right. Ruby red slippers. You know, write whatever you want on there, and then you'll always know, where are my ruby red slippers? They're in the bag on the shelf, marked ruby red slippers, dummy. Can you read? <laughs> and you'll get the whole package of them for like nine bucks. And when you're done and you're wearing the shoes, you can take that bag and recycle it and put your trash in it. Carry it out to the front in your new pumps. This is a win-win-win thing going on here. Oh, yeah. Okay. On that note, we need to go organize our closets. 